my father said that he and his brother went to school that morning. Everything was fine. He said goodbye to his father. And uh, my grandmother went to work. I think she worked at uh, Philip Mars or DuPont or something. Um, and so she went to work and she told my grandfather that there was an electric bill that needed to be paid and that he needed to pay it. So they didn't own a car, so he walked everywhere or took the trolley. So he left his house uh, right off of um, Hall Street and uh, with his coat on and his hat on and the electric bill in his pocket. And he walked down to um, the 14th Street Bridge because the electric company where he needed to pay the um, electric bill was right at the corner there. And uh, so he, he went in and paid the electric bill and uh, he came out and he walked to the left uh, while he was on the bridge, he took his hat off and laid it on the, the banister of the bridge. And then he took his coat off and folded it very neatly with two suicide notes in his pocket. And he jumped off the 14th Street Bridge. And um, there was uh, some workmen at the uh, corner of the bridge um, that saw him jump off and heard him screaming for help when he hit the water. Um, they couldn't get to him in time. You know, there was um, a picture of a bridge uh, in their house, and my father said that that's where he thought my grandfather got the idea to jump off the bridge. Um, but, uh, you know, my dad was 12. Uh, my uncle was 8. Uh, my grandfather had gotten drafted for World War II at the age of 36. Um, he was an uh, accountant at Lucky Strike Cigarette Company. And uh, they took him away from his job, away from his family, uh, to work as a PA uh, in the Army during World War II. And my grandfather, uh, during basic training, he was, uh, there was an explosion during, uh, when he was crawling across the barbed wire. And uh, there was an explosion that threw him up in the air. And, uh, so my grandfather had a traumatic brain injury that wasn't taken care of. And so when he was in and out of uh, the VA hospitals, they were treating him less than because he had a brain injury. And uh, my grandfather would run away any chance he got from these hospitals because they were treating him less than. And back then, they made fun of you if something, if you acted, acted mentally ill. There was not, there was not, I don't even think they called it mental illness. You were just crazy. And uh, so my grandfather was dealing with a traumatic brain injury that he suffered during basic training. He was dealing with the fact that my grandmother had been unfaithful to him while he was serving the country. He was, she told him he was nothing, basically. Uh, I can only imagine how they treated him and mental institutions in 1942. I just think about the sadness that he dealt with and, and the abuse and uh, bullying that he must have dealt with in the mental hospitals and in the VA uh, because they didn't understand brain injury uh, or mental illness or, 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 any, or anything. I was on that bridge. Uh, thinking about the same thoughts he was thinking about. Uh, because, because of being treated less than. The people that made fun of me, the people that abused me, 
they would have won. You know, the people that abused my grandfather or made fun of him or treated him less than, they won because he ended his life. I, I don't want to do that to my daughter. And so that's really the only thing that keeps me from doing it sometimes is I don't want to cause the same pain that my father felt. My father always blamed himself. He could have done something to stop it. So, you know, I don't want to do that to my daughter. And I don't want to, I, I like life. I just don't like the thoughts that are in my brain sometimes. And I, I have people that I can go talk to about this, but my grandfather didn't. My grandfather's brain was injured, his heart was injured, his mind was injured, um, and there was nobody to talk to. And that's what happened to my grandfather. Those thoughts won. Those thoughts, um, and I'm wondering if he thought, if he was thinking about it the whole time he was walking down to pay the electric bill. Was he fighting the thoughts of, am I going to jump? I'm not going to jump. Am I going to jump? I'm not going to jump. And then what ha I'm wondering what happened in the electric company building when he went to go pay the bill. I'm wondering if they made fun of him. Um, but something snapped in him because he went to pay the electric bill. He was taking care of his family. He was taking care of the bill. And I often wonder what happened when he walked in and paid the bill. If somebody said something to him that made him just come out and say, I'm ending it. I can't do it anymore. So, you know. See, one month from today is the day he jumped off the bridge. One month from today is the day of my car accident. So it was so intense that the car accident happened on the same day that my grandfather jumped off the bridge. And my father had, you know, my father had to like handle not only the anniversary of his father's death, but then his daughter was dying on the same fucking day. 